everybody, it's Indie Creates here. And today, I'm going to be turning the most famous landmarks into girls. So let's get started. Okay, so as always, I start it off by drawing my head, the head template. And I drew um, two lines to separate it. I even it up at the top. And then I went into the neck and the ears. As always, it's just my little template. And then I went out to the side with the neck. Like always, I just drew the little base plate. Okay, so as you can see here, I finished the little base plate. Now I'm on to the arms. I like to do these little circles to just give me a guide. Um, these don't stay um, here the whole time, but um, they're a great starting guide um, to help me where I need to go with the drawing. I was just drawing the little torso area here, making sure that it's not too big of a torso, but the torso helps me join up the legs to the entire body. So it's a very important part in the sketch. Then I erased um, the little guide and I drew out the actual thing. Um, I erased the arm guide and drew out the actual arms for the character. Okay, so next I rubbed out um, the little line across the um, little stomach and I just evened it out a little bit there and then I moved on to the face where I drew the eyes. The eyes are always a really hard bit to do um, because now you have to get the right exposure and shape of the eyes and you can move the pupils wherever you want them. I decided to have them look into the side with eyelashes. I'm not that good at drawing mouths, so I just draw one of those really simple mouths. And then, yep, I moved on to the hair. The hair I thought would look great as a little high ponytail. I thought that would look nice because that's one of my favourite things to do in my hair, so I think that um, the high ponytail would look great on this little um, character. Yep, she looks really cute. I'm just making sure it looks exactly how I want it. It looks pretty good, and eventually I got some cute hair that I was pretty happy with. It turned out pretty good. Okay, so then I moved on to the line art. The line art is always very hard because it's the final part of um, the sketching out, which means the sketch has to be exactly how I want it. You can't have any mistakes at all. It has to be exactly how I want it because when you do the line art, you can't rub it out. This is your final attempt at doing the drawing. My line art is normally horrible. Um, it never turns out that great, but today I think it turned out all right. Um, I just used um, one of my favorite pens um, to outline um, my whole sketch.
Okay, and then before I on the ears, I actually drew some really cute pyramid earrings, which I thought would be great for the drawing, because I mean, why not? And then I just continued with my line art. Before doing any more line art, I just remembered that I have to do the skirt. I nearly forgot because I have to do a skirt for the line art, but yeah, luckily I remembered this time. Um, I normally always forget the skirt um, or whatever bottom piece comes on, but I normally always forget that. So today I think I did a pretty good job. Okay, so when I finished my line art, I've used this bright yellow for the hair. I know, don't judge because it looks too bright and neon. It looks absolutely crazy, but oh well, um, I think it turned out all right. Then before I knew it, I was on to colouring in the eyes. Um, yeah, um, like I said, I had some pretty good eyes earlier, and um, I decided to pick out a colour that would tie in well with the bright yellow hair. So I chose a little um, green pen that actually tied in really well with the yellow. Um, it made a really good like um, colour colour coordination, so that it looks really nice. Then I just drew the skin of the head because of course why not? And um, yeah, I drew the skin of the neck too. And then I moved on to the ship. Okay guys, now I'm onto the shirt. I drew a little red star in the middle because why not? I mean, it's always good to have a little bit of sparkle. I drew one of those really easy stars and I think it turned out great. I'm normally awful of those, but um, I actually learned them at school not um, that long ago. My friend told me them, so thank you. Um, yep, yeah, and for the actual um, base colour of the shirt, um, I picked a subtle yellow, keeping it subtle just to be nice. I had to colour in those really good pyramid earrings, why not? 
and I thought that um, a bright color actually looked good on there, so yay! Okay, anyway, um, now I'm onto the torso bit with the skirt. Um, I outlined it green. Um, yep, I outlined it green just to give it a bit of a pop, like an apple pop. I think it turned out really good because there's like Mr. Um, Chubby Chub, I don't know what you call them, that you get. Um, yeah, and there's a really like bright green sour apple one. It's <laughs> really good, and I coloured in the torso too. Um, okay, I've been saying torso a lot. I just said it again. Oh god. Okay, um, so now I am onto the actual main bit of the skirt. Um, yep, just um, the actual base color. Um, again, that nice subtle yellow. I did a gradient from a um, light yellow to a bright yellow. The one that I did on the head, that does not look so good. She's definitely seen better days. But oh well, she actually looks really cute. She looks like a little starry ballerina, which I absolutely love. It just looks really cute. Okay, the final bit of the sketch. Here we go. All I did to finish was colour in the fingers and um, the legs, half of the legs, because the rest went into the skirt. That was pretty much all for that sketch. Okay, Indy, so here is the final result. I think it turned out really good. Um, if you like it, then show it by subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Thank you so much for watching, Indy. I'll see you later. Bye.